Hi. How are you all doing? Oh. I had uh, I've had a, I've had a bit of a mm, horrible break today. Bought an SSD to replace the one in my in my laptop, the failed SSD in my Zephyrus G fourteen, uh, right? Just dead without warning. It was only five months old. Not the Zephyrus, the the SSD. And Amazon have no idea when they're going to ship it to me, right? And it was going to be November. It's a wee while away, right? Then they tell me it's going to be Saturday. Don't worry about it. Cool. That's not what they're telling me now. It's going to be... T I don't know what day it is, but it's going to be Saturday. No, wait. I said it was going to be Saturday. They said it was going to be Saturday. Now it's going to be... T then it was going to be Tuesday. Now it's going to be Wednesday. I'm confused. It's going to arrive at some point, but not when I need it. And I completely forgot that, hey, yo, you've got calls today and you have nothing set up for calls... You're going to have to quickly set something up. So, like an absolute hero, <laughs> set up the Steam Deck for calls. Why not the big PC under the Steam Deck? Who knows? But we went for the Steam Deck. That's it. I've got some toffee apples to eat. Homemade toffee apples that make me feel like I'm about to break out of prison because, yes, those are knives instead of pokey sticks. Yeah? <laughs> Oof. Oh, mate. As if the toffee apples weren't good enough. I've been given a sandwich. Look how stacked that motherfucker is. No wonder I'm such a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was good. And looks like one of us has had some fun today. Wife seems to have resprayed her phone cover. The G has come off. How'd you manage that? <laughs> oh, um, waffling, which I need to stop doing. Ah, uh, something dawned on me the other day when I was doing the super budget live stream video which is a waffle video uh, I'm not one to get hooked on stats but I looked at it and realized like no one is watching this stuff I know no one's watching this stuff I don't make it for people to watch these are daily snapshots of what's going on in my household and I started doing this years and years and years ago, and I got up to uh, nearly nine full years. It would have been nine full years in uh, August of 2020. And I got up to, I think it was nine, was it nine full years I was, as I was nearly up to the, the anniversary? So we're going to be starting the, the, tenth, the tenth year. Uh, it would have been... August and I got up to July and then some life stuff happened and I, I missed uh, a day and I always said if I if I missed a day that was it it was over at the time my my wife was in hospital and my my head was just all over the place I, I blanked and completely forgot to to even pick up the camera I think the only thing we had was a an as an animated gif uh, a gif of uh, the two of us sat on a sofa. I just took a picture to celebrate that she'd, we'd got her home. Uh, I, I was all over the place for, for weeks. Uh, but I, I'd missed a day. And so that was, that was it. And I wanted to do 10 full years. I, but obviously, as I said, I was, I was, a, I was a month short from, from nine. And I did a bit more in that July. And I did a bit more in 2021. I, I did like a couple months worth in 2021. And it's, it's just dawned on me. 2022, I was going to do stuff, right? And I haven't. I've fallen into the exact same funk I, all, I, I had done before. Uh, you know, I'm just making videos for fun, not for other people to necessarily watch. But... 
they're not really, they don't really serve any purpose other than being a daily diary, right? And whilst that's neat, after the original run of vlogs was done, I kind of just, I didn't really want to look back at anything anymore. I didn't really want to document anything anymore. I was in a real funk. After, you know, after putting nine years uh, near enough online and you fuck it up, you get a bit narky, you can get a bit narky, especially when I was chasing down uh, Charles Trippy for the, uh, for the, there's a Guinness World Record consecutive daily vlog uh, thing. And I was chasing that motherfucker down because at one point he stopped and I was still going. And, well, you know, that kind of thing wasn't important. But I was like, look, if I can get to a decade, that'd be great. Like a full decade from, from 26 to, to 36 was roughly when I started and, and to when I finished. Uh, let's, let's, let's get that done. And it, it didn't happen and it really, fuck, it really irked me. Uh, this is a, a vlog channel, a shitpost channel, first and foremost. Nothing more, nothing less. Never has been anything more. I wanted to do something more with it, like actually put some polish on stuff, but I probably put polish on like one thing every month. I'm not into B-roll vlogs and tarting stuff up because... Something happened on YouTube a few years back. I said a few years back, it was quite a while back. Vlogs became more about flash and flair than they did about the people in them. And there were times when I'd, because I used to watch daily vloggers too, I'd pull in a few daily vloggers who used to do the same kind of stuff as me. Don't get me wrong, it weren't particularly popular. But I started pulling in a lot of these kind of um, edited to music kind of B-rolly vlogs. And I'd put them on the timeline and I'd cut out the B-roll. And the actual bit of the person talking to the camera... When you were to actually quantify it, the person talking to the camera was the B-roll. Like, th there was so little of it. There was nothing to it. Like, you could cut a, a ten-minute vlog down to, like, four minutes if you cut out the B-roll. <laughs> and I didn't like the music, and I didn't like a lot of the cuts. So, uh... <coughs> I just I, I, I just... I didn't want to do that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to make that the majority of things... It, like in in in, I didn't want to make that one of my things. And so when I saw the the live stream setup video, literally either it wasn't posted or just no one watched it, which is fine, because uh, my videos are more put them on in the background and listen to them. So I'm talking to you. I'm opening up a dialogue, and then you leave a comment, and and then I reply. I've started saying you. I've not really been one to do that either, addressing someone watching the video because normally. You would be me when I watch this back. I would be addressing my future self. Um, but, because there's no, there's no need to watch this. Unless I say there's something to look at, there's nothing to really look at. It would just be like snapshots of the kids, snapshots of me and the wife, snapshots of where we're living and what we're doing and, and that kind of thing. Nothing particularly interesting. 2022 is year 10. When New Year rolls around, I can happily stop. I mean, I stopped, as I say, I stopped once before in, in, in that July, and we've managed to fill the, the nine years' worth in 2021. I think it'd be nice just to stop. I'm stuck in a rut. I started getting sick again, and I'm tired, and I don't have the energy or the groove to really do much anything anymore. I, I really don't. I don't want to. Um, I don't watch YouTube. I don't, really. Not a huge amount. Uh, nothing that I'd be interested in making. Uh, I don't really have the time or the space to put in the flash or flare. I do. That's really more of an excuse. But I just... It becomes so much of a pain in the ass when you've got maybe... This much space to, 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 to do something. It's just not ideal. I don't even have a fully clear table to, uh, to, to, to film something. So I'd, I'd really rather not... I can't even set up lights in my room because that, that, I mean I'm, I'm sharing that space with my family, uh, which annoys me because uh, I, I do like to put in a bit of flash and flare in certain things, like the VR video I did a while back, how to fix the three dots, and that I cut that down from what twenty minutes or fifteen minutes down to like ten or six, 
something like that. Um, but the only criticism I got on it was, where's the music in the background? Uh, I'm in a rut. I've not had any... I can't do anything. I don't like doing things for the vlog. We coined this back in the start. People were calling my vlogs the ultimate form of reality TV. What you see is what you get. The person you see in these videos is the exact same person you'll bump into on the street. I don't put on an act, I don't put on a show. Things that I would say that are kind of cringeworthy in a vlog is as the exact kind of thing that I would say to you in person. The same kind of thing I'd say to you in person, I would happily say in a vlog. Um, same with the, with the live streams. I do not generally filter myself. There have been times when I've, I've had to, which makes me cringe, but, you know... <sighs> But uh, since I got married in 2020, I can't do anything. It's not about living life for the vlog, it's vlogging life. And I saw that as getting lost over the years. People were so interested in getting numbers and views and subscribers that the person almost got lost. They became kind of like this, this joke. They became a character. They always say that people curate what they put online. I try not to. Because what good is it for me to look back on if it's something that I've put out there on purpose. I've only picked out the best bits. That's not true. That's not how life works. People have shit days, and I've always said that if I have a shit day, you'll know about it. You know, if I feel miserable, I will put it in a vlog, because people don't want to see negativity, but I think it's better to be honest with people than lead them on and think that you live this completely beautiful, unsullied, completely unrealistic life. <laughs> Um, a lot of people find it better, they can relate to you more, because you don't have it easy all the time. Uh, but that's not what people put out. Who's it, the, the lassie who live streams? She, she did hot tub streaming and all that kind of stuff, and she plays games and cosplays. Uh, she was on the Score Esports recently. Amaranth? Amaranth? Is that the one? Uh, you know, people are like, yeah, the... the all of this stuff is curated, but the, the way she feels off camera is not how she is on camera. There's a character being put up in, in, in front of the camera, and I don't like that. Someone, uh, probably it wasn't actually necessarily just her as well, but that, like someone else said as well, that these people, they are literally just putting their best foot forward. It's not real. And I've never seen the point in that. But since I haven't had any idea in the last two years, I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I can't do anything. Because I don't have any idea. I got married and I was one of the weirdos that had my name changed. And in having my name changed, right before um, the COVID pandemic uh, and lockdowns, we sent in our IDs and things to get everything changed and they got lost. <laughs> um, and now it's just proving to be a nightmare to get things uh, done, but because we don't have anything, we can't go anywhere, we can't, I mean, I don't have a, a valid driver's license anymore or anything like that, so even if I wanted to go somewhere, I realistically can't, uh, not yet, and I'm just burning my days, I'm just loafing in my house, I travel maybe mm, 10 miles, 30 miles tops from my house, and that's very rare, uh, even my kids have said, Dad, why? <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm going to push it to New Year. And I think I'm going to call it done. Still post stuff occasionally, because the kids still seem to want me to post stuff occasionally. That's one of the only reasons I'm still doing it. But they want something more out of this, and I don't. <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah, that's my camera. Stupid. It's like, why is that in the way of the web camera? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's how little sleep I've had and I'm going to get a lot less because I've just been cleared to um, night shift it I've always preferred night shifts I used to work nights when I first met the wife or first got with the wife so we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay up tonight because I, I don't seem to be able to sleep properly at night insomnia sucks balls now the whole vlog thing as well 
I thought we'd have had more energy and more groove. And I mean, we've, we're a very sickly family, but we got hit pretty hard this year and it's not been ideal. The last couple of years haven't been ideal. And I've not been this sick from a regular cold in years for so long. We got sick a couple months back and I'm still not feeling better. You know, it's it's... It's been brutal. Like, I've been this sick before through other stuff, like botched surgeries and stuff like that. But from a, from a, like a cold or an infection or whatever, like a, a viral thing, never been so brutal in my life. And I'm constantly tired, constantly sick, and just constantly feeling like I'm, I'm running through, like, molasses. Like, I'm just trying to move through this thick ass sludge that just, no matter how hard I try, we're just not moving forwards any faster, and it's just exhausting. Like everything is exhausting. <laughs> but I've got to say, um, daily vlogging, though, even though like we've done the ultimate form of reality TV thing, where we've not tried to grow, we've not tried to to, to push for bigger numbers or a bigger audience or curate content or put up a front. I have met some of the coolest people I know through doing this. Some of my closest friends, and I'm an antisocial asshole, but don't let, the detra- like, don't let that fact detract from the idea that some of my closest friends have come from doing this. People have come to my house and broken bread with my family, so like we've had like, barbecues and parties and stuff like that. You know, folks who I've met here, came to my wedding back in 2020. So like I've, I'd known like Zabermull uh, through, through the vlogs and he traveled from Denmark to the UK to come to my, to my wedding. Right. I have met some, I'm not going to mention everyone by name, but I've met some of the coolest fucking people through doing this. And I don't regret it for a second. Uh, <laughs> and, and I talk to a lot of these people every fucking day, even though I, am an antisocial asshole, right? <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to keep going until New Year. And then, I don't know, maybe just post the occasional video when it can be bothered, when I've got something going on, when there's actually something worth documenting. But until, until we just can kind of get out of this funk. I don't know. You know? <coughs> When we actually have something to, when I actually have something to do, when I actually have something I want to make a video about, I'll do that instead. At this point, I'm just going to live stream. And here's a trick. Right, my wife said to me a minute ago. She goes, you know, um, uh, she said, like, how much would you charge to uh, to give someone a uh, like a hug? Like, if you had to give someone a hug, and she she picked out like someone that she knows I really hate, and I jokingly said like. 350 million <laughs> just like thrown out there and she's like yeah okay 350 million that's the thing so what would the hug be like and you know I just go for this like you know hands on the waist thing that's it and she's like no that's not it it's gotta be like two minutes like two minutes proper hug and I was like no fucking chance no way just not gonna fucking happen I would rather die <laughs> she's like and this is why we're not rich <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'll never get brand deals because if I think you're shit, I'll tell you. <laughs> if I don't like you, you'll know. Ugh. Yeah, this is fun. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live stream. Play some Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, this was kind of a pointless video. Just another twenty minute rant about me chatting shite. Just mind dumping. That was the whole point of this. This is where the ultimate form of reality TV came from. It's not supposed to be uh, super happy fun times you know, um, joy to the world and all that crap. It's just supposed to be thoughts of the moment. Just put out there. Not looking to grow, not looking to get big numbers, not looking to get subscribers or whatever. Um, but, you know, just, just to, this is a place to dump video. Classic YouTube style. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not an influencer, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm just not one of these things, I'm not really a streamer, I'm just a guy that's fucking about on the internet. 
I will actually say as well, um, thank you to the folks who helped me on the 18 month challenge. That was fucking rad. Um, to prove that if we really wanted to, we could have done. Uh, I had a challenge to earn a few pennies for a year and a half, and if not, I had to stop. And we did it. So the possibility was there. And the fact that I only need to run, like, what, 12 to 30 pounds a day to make this completely viable <laughs> is pretty easy, and I still don't do it. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are well. And I'll see you all with a bit of luck. And the next one, just have fun. Don't chase numbers, don't chase subs, don't chase, don't chase followers and money and all that kind of stuff. Just have fun. Be yourself. There's no point archiving this shit if all you're archiving is a character you made up. Because I've seen so many people fall doing this kind of stuff. One, they're playing the happy character, super positive, all day, every day, going out and doing all these extravagant things. And then after a few years, they're like, yeah, um, you know, whoever and I broke up, we got divorced, or I had to move out, or we ran out of money, or I was like seriously depressed, or I've now got a drug habit, or like I've seen it happen to loads of people. It's not sustainable. Don't fake it. Because you ain't going to make it. You're, you're going to run yourself into the ground and it's just not cool. So, I hope you will. And I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one. Who else wants to take on the ultimate form of reality TV?